All right, welcome back. Continuing on, number 76. Which of the following findings would you expect to see in temporal arteritis? A, aneurysm. B, reversal of flow. C, ulceration. Or D, intimal thickening. The answer is D, intimal thickening. Number 77. At what depth do you expect to get a good signal from the MCA at the temporal window? A, 5 to 20 millimeters. B, 20 to 40 millimeters. C, 30 to 60 millimeters. Or D, 70 to 90 millimeters. The answer is C, 30 to 60 millimeters. Number 78. A patient comes in complaining of having a black shade over one eye. This is A, night blindness, B, amaurosis fugax, C, lazy eye, or D, extropia. The answer is B, amaurosis fugax. Number 79, Bud Chiari syndrome can lead to portal hypertension via A, portal vein thrombosis, B, hepatic vein obstruction, C, hepatic artery occlusion, or D, left gastric artery occlusion. The answer is B, hepatic vein obstruction. Number 80, peripheral vascular resistance is maintained by A, calf contraction, B, heart rate, C, arterial vasoconstriction, D, arterial vasodilation, E, all of the above, or F, C and D. The answer is F, C and D, arterial vasoconstriction and vasodilation. Number 81, what aids venous return from the lower extremities in an upright patient? A, gravity, B, the heart, C, calf muscles, or D, abdominal muscles? The answer is C, calf muscles. Number 82, blank is a sign of early atherosclerotic disease. A, rest pain, B, gangrene, C, ulcers, or D, claudication? The answer is D, claudication. Number 83, this complex cystic structure in the arm likely represents A, arterial venous malformation, B, mycotic aneurysm, C, epidermoid cyst, or D, none of the above. The answer is D, none of the above. This is a lymphatic malformation. Lymphatic malformations and arterial malformations can look similar on soft tissue imaging, but arterial venous malformations are very vascular and lymphatic malformations aren't. Number 84, this image most likely represents A, abdominal aortic aneurysm with mural thrombus, B, aortic dissection, C, hemorrhagic cyst, or D, dermoid cyst? The answer is A, abdominal aortic aneurysm with mural thrombus. Number 85, what does this image suggest? A, triphasic flow. B, transient subclavian steel. C, contralatic vertebral occlusion. Or D, ICA occlusion. The answer is B, transient subclavian steel. Number 86, this image suggests A, proximal disease, B, distal disease, C, stenosis at the cursor, or D, normal flow. So this is an extremity artery, a femoral artery. It should be a triphasic waveform. This waveform is monophasic, slightly lower velocities, suggesting B, a distal stenosis. If this was a post-stenotic waveform, there would be an increased acceleration time and lower peak systolic velocities known as TARDIS parvus waveform. Number 87. This image is consistent with A. Stenosis B. Distal occlusion C. Tortuous vessel D. Proximal occlusion The answer is C. Tortuous vessel. Number 88. What pathology is shown in this image? A. Aneurysm a. Aneurysm with dissection. B. Aneurysm at the level of the iliac arteries. C. Stenosis. Or D. Complete occlusion. 
The answer is B, aneurysm at the level of the iliac arteries. Number 89, what is the yellow arrow pointing to in this sagittal image of the femoral artery? A, stenosis. B, thrombosis. C, dissection. Or D, valve. The answer is C, dissection. You can see an intimal flap. Number 90. You scan a 16-year-old female of Asian descent and you notice her bilateral carotid arteries appear like this. What is most likely causing these findings? A. Atherosclerosis B. High cholesterol diet C. Hypertension or D. Takayasu's arteritis The answer is D. Takayasu's arteritis So you can see some severe thickening of the intimal wall and uh, narrowing. Being 16 years old, atherosclerotic changes would be very unlikely. Um, Takayasu's arteritis is much more common in females, especially Asian women. Number 91. What is the first branch of the internal carotid artery? A. Middle cerebral artery. B. Anterior cerebral artery. C. Ophthalmic artery. Or D. Superior thyroid artery. The answer is C. Ophthalmic artery. Number 92. Describe the waveform of the postprandial SMA. Low resistance, A, low resistance, B, high resistance, C, triphasic, or D, biphasic. The answer is A, low resistance. Before the meal, the SMA flow can be high resistance. 93. How many branches does the ECA have? A, 6, B, 7, C, 8, D, 9. The answer is C, 8. Number 94. What is the renal aortic ratio that indicates greater than 60% stenosis? A, less than 2.5. B, greater than 2.5. C, less than 3.5. D, greater than 3.5. The answer is D, greater than 3.5. Number 95. What is the main concern with deep vein thrombosis? A. Valvular incompetence B. Stroke C. Pulmonary embolism or D. Amputation The answer is C. Pulmonary embolism Valvular incompetence can happen with DVT but it's not life-threatening Stroke is a more common atherosclerotic arterial disease and amputation is also usually arterial in nature as well Number 96 What artery is the black arrow pointing to? A. Cavernosal artery. B. Urethral artery. C. Dorsal penile artery. Or D. Dorsal vein. The answer is A. Cavernosal artery. Number 97. What artery is the red arrow pointing to? A. Segmental. B. Arguit. B. Arcuit. C. Interlobar or D, interlobular? The answer is D, interlobular. Number 98, where is the most common site for true arterial aneurysms? A, popliteal artery, B, infrarenal aorta, C, middle cerebral artery, or D, radial artery? The answer is B, infrarenal aorta. 99. A true arterial aneurysm includes A. Tunica intima B. Tunica media C. Tunica adventitia or D. All three layers The answer is D. All three layers Number 100. What vessel is the white arrow pointing to? A. Middle cerebral artery B. Right vertebral artery C. Left vertebral artery or D, basilar artery? The answer is D, basilar artery. Well, that concludes the 100 questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, good luck with your exams. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. I also do little mini quizzes on there as well as Facebook. And you can subscribe here on YouTube as well. Thank you and take care.